Welcome to CG Channel. In today's video, you'll learn how to apply a text wrap to shapes and frames in your InDesign document. So let's get started. So I'm going to create an A4 size document with two, maybe three pages and two columns. That should be good enough. And hit create. Once my document is up, I'm going to grab the text tool and create a text box covering both the columns. And before releasing the mouse, I'm going to hit the right arrow once to split the text box into two columns. Much like that. To thread the text between the columns, I'm going to click on the small square box in the first column in the bottom and then click once again in the right column so now they are threaded now is the time to place some text so let's go to file place and then pull a file from my computer and throw some text to the document before clicking to place the text to the document please ensure to press and hold shift so that the text flows through to the pages now we're going to grab the rectangle frame tool and make a rectangle right in the middle of the page so as to place an image. Our rectangle frame is set to hold the image so let's go to file, place and then bring an image. Since the image is much larger than the frame, you can't see the entire image. So to fix this, let's right click on the image, go to fitting and then fit content to frame. And your image will fit perfectly well into the frame. So now is text wrapping time. So we're going to go to window and text wrap. And this panel will populate with uh, a few options. We're looking for the option that says wrap around bounding box and that's what we need to click. Oops, we made a mistake. We had to select uh, not just the image but the text as well. So let's click anywhere on the document and do a control A or a command A to select not just the image but the text as well and then go to window text wrap and then from the panel just click on the right option and you will find the text giving way to the image so since the text is almost touching the image we want some sort of space between them so let's adjust the offset value to achieve that now since all sides are linked uh, just by updating one side is going to update the rest automatically. Much like that. I think that is looking pretty alright. So let's head to another page and this time we're going to make a circular shape using the ellipse frame tool and then bring an image. So let's grab the ellipse tool and by holding shift and option or alt in, in PC let's make a circle right in the center much like that and then we're gonna go to file and place locate the image and bring it to the document and much like earlier this image is also much larger than the frame so we need to go to fitting and then fit content to frame and you will be able to see the entire image so once again we need to select all by clicking ctrl a in pc or command a in mac and then go to the text wrap option but this time we'll choose wrap around object shape option and not the the one we chose earlier you see what happens when we choose the option we chose earlier it actually creates a rectangular boundary around the shape whereas our shape is circular so we need another option 
in which it wraps around the, the entire circle and not makes a boundary like it is doing now. So our option for this one is the third one from the left, which is wrap around object shape. And to adjust the offset value, you need to click on the image once and not select all like we did earlier. And you'll find that since it's a circular shape, only one side is highlighted for you to adjust the setting on. So adjust the offset as per your requirement and the mission is accomplished. So that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.